Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a haul video and I actually have quite a bit to show you. I've been trying to get a big collection before I show you things that I buy just so that I'm not doing too many haul videos. I'm going to try to make it quick and what the plan is is if I've already been using it I'm going to review it, see if I tell you if I like it or not and if I haven't used it I'll tell you. And then I'll, if I feel like it's worthy enough to have its own video, I'll make a video about it. In reference to the 24 hour color stay uh, Maybelline tattoo things, I bought two more colors. I used, I have the bronze one. I bought the Tough as Taupe and the Pomegranate Punk, which I never would have bought the Pomegranate Punk. However, I saw someone on YouTube wearing it and I actually really liked it. So, it's like a pinky red color. And I am going to show you proof of they actually do shit the TV's on. One second. Sorry. I always forget the TV's not muted. I just always forget to mute it because I don't really hear it. I just have it on as background noise. Anyway, so I'm going to probably show you in this video it creasing on me. And just as proof to you guys that they do crease. I have oily, oily, oily skin eyelids. And I put it on without primer on, and in about an hour, the Toughest Taupe one definitely creased on me very fast. I am wearing the Toughest Taupe by the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Eyeshadow. And what I wanted to show you guys was that if you do have oily eyelids, this stuff does not stay like it says it's going to. I did not put any primer on underneath. If I would have put a primer on underneath, it wouldn't be. But as of right now, they have creased. So I just wanted to show that. So. As you can see, it's creased, right? Okay. Another downfall about these is like this pomegranate punk one fades a lot. You put it on, it looks very vibrant, and then in about an hour, two hours, it's not as vibrant as it used to look. It's not that it creased, it doesn't crease with the primer on, on underneath. It just seems to fall off or fade or something. I don't know. So, I mean, they're not amazing. They're not, I wouldn't say they're as good as the MAC ones because the MAC ones actually stay true to pigment the whole entire time they're on my eyelid. And um, these, I feel like, fade. At least these two colors, the toughest taupe and the pomegranate ones fade a lot. So I'm going to imagine ones that are color color, like the pink, I mean the uh, blue, the green, the purples, will fade on you. The bronze one seems to last the longest on me, and I'm going to guess it's because it's more skin tone, so uh, you don't notice it fading as fast or as easily. Another product that I picked up were these Dream Bouncy blushes by Maybelline. I initially first just bought this one, 15 Rose Petal, and... It didn't show up on me at like all. Uh, it's just too light for me. Sorry. It's just too light for me. They're very like Play-Doh-y type of texture. Like you push down and it leaves an indent. It's like Play-Doh. It's, it's weird. And there's no color payoff pretty much at all for this one. It's a highlight, I would say. You could use it as a highlight. So I was like, you know what? To see if I can actually really review it, I'm going to buy another one that's darker and see if they're all just not color payoffs or it's just I bought a color that was too light for me. And I bought Peach Satin 20. And this one is, as you can see, I'll show the two together, darker. This one does have color payoff. It does come off nice. Um, and they're for, they're nice. They're for, I think they're only like four, four, four or five bucks and it's a pretty good quality. The only thing is I'd say if you have darker, medium to darker skin tone like me, this P rose petal one is going to be a highlight for you. Uh, if you have really fair skin, it would actually probably look really nice. And I don't know why I thought that this would be color payoff, because if you look it up to my skin, it's really not that much of a difference. In reference to blush, I ordered on Ulta.com, not Ulta, I ordered at Sephora because I looked everywhere for this blush. And none of the stores ever had it in stock, and even Sephora was out of dot com was out of stock. So I eventually it showed up, and I ordered it. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 20, 12 Hour Blush and Exposed. So it's like a pinky brown color. I really like it. It's matte. And then one day, it didn't even occur to me. I realized that I kind of pretty much already have this color in a Mac. So if you want to know dupes for each other here, this one's Exposed. And this one is Blush Baby 
And the reason why it didn't occur to me that they're pretty much the exact same shade is because this one's in a brown container. So it makes it look like it's more of a brown color. And this one has that black, so it looks more pink in the case. However, if you put them right next to each other, which if I look and think, they're like the exact same color. So, oops on my part, I guess. If you haven't tried the uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes, you should. They're a little pricey. They're $25. But they last, they actually last and I like them a lot. Last haul video I showed you guys the Age You Wind Eraser Dark Circles and, and the pink one. So then I wanted to try the colored one, colored concealer. And I got the shade in light. Uh, medium just looked way too dark. So I got light. It is a tad bit light for me, but I use it under my eyes only, so that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. And it covers well. Um, yeah, works well for under eye. Other than that, I don't know how it would work everywhere else because I won't use this anywhere else on my face. And then I also ended up buying because it was buy one, get one half off. So I was like, I might as well get something else. So I did eventually actually buy the foundation in this. And it's funny because on the, on the shelves, it shows that this is a full, medium to full coverage. No. Mm-mm. This is like a light coverage. Um, and it's kind of jelly in consistency. My color is 250 Pure Beige. And it was very hard to tell what color I was going to get because of this packaging. It's just hard. And I just noticed that it looked, it's easier to find your color if you look at the bottom. I don't know why. It's, it's just... There's too much plastic that it's hard to see the true color. What I do when I go into a drugstore and I'm trying to find a color that matches me, I go to the Revlon section, take off the, um, take out the, my color and the Revlon one for the uh, color stay, and then I use that as reference to help me find another shade in a different brand or what, or in a different foundation. That seems to help, but this one was just hard to find. This shade I picked was actually very good. Um, only thing I do not like about this is, like I said, it's a light coverage and I get very oily in this. Just like I said in the last haul video that I figured I would get oily in it, I figured, you know what, I'm going to try it because Tiffany D says she has oily skin and that this works for her great. I'm going to tell you, if you have legit oily skin, mm -mm, you get shiny in this. And I wear primer, I set it, I always set my liquids with powder and now, still, it made me too shiny. So, unfortunately not really my thing. The other one I picked up was the Maybelline Superstay Makeup 24 Hour Microflex Formula. And I actually, funny enough, didn't know what color I got in this when I went to buy this one and I used the Revlon one and I ended up getting the, they're both Maybelline, and I ended up getting the same color, pure beige. So, funny enough. And this foundation is awesome. I do like it. Um, it doesn't smell like like the Revlon one smells to me. This color today, it smells terrible. It smells like paint. This one has a smell, it just doesn't smell as bad in my opinion. It stays really well, like it says, it says it won't rub off, it's oil free, won't clog pores. Um, I don't know about the not rubbing off. I noticed that, yeah, I guess it doesn't rub off, but I put powder on over top of it, so it's kind of hard to tell if it were to rub off. Is that just my powder rubbing off or is that the liquid rubbing off as well? Um, it's definitely a medium, medium full. And it's funny because it says this one's medium and this one's medium full. Uh, no, no, no. It needs to be switched. <laughs> and uh, I like this one. So if you want to try a drugstore, you got oily skin. It says it's for all skin types, so I would imagine it would be good for dry skin too. I just don't have dry skin. Excuse me. I just don't have dry skin to tell you if it's good for dry skin or not. But if you have oily skin and you're looking for a drugstore brand, try this one. I like it. Um, and then when I was in the checkout line, I noticed that the Maybelline Fit Me, in this shade only, 210, was on clearance for 379. So I was like, I'll try, give it a try. It does seem like it's a little bit light if you put it up to this one. And it's definitely a light coverage. I haven't really worn it yet, but I've heard mixed reviews about it, and I haven't really worn it, so I can't really tell you too, too much about it. I ordered the... Tarte Amazon Clay Bronzer, I mean, uh, blush. I also ordered the uh, Urban Decay Surreal Skin Mineral Makeup in my color's Trance, which I think is considered the medium shade. Or the light to medium shade, I'm not sure. And if you know me, I hate using the puff on the top. It's stupid, so just take the puff cover off 
expose the three holes, click it open, and then it'll just dump into the lid and then use a brush to put it on. You can screw the whole thing off, however, when you first get it, it's very full, so it may over, you may waste a lot because as you're screwing it off, it's kind of overflowing. So I like to just leave this and dump it into the lid. Uh, this is a good mineral makeup. Like I, it's gonna, it's about the same exact coverage as the Bare Mineral one. I just, not a big fan of Bare Mineral. I like Urban Decay. They're about the same. I figured I'd just buy this one. Uh, it's a setting powder. I also decided to pick up the Naked 2 palette. Um, the reason why I decided initially wasn't going to get this one, but I liked it because it is more cool tones, and I already own a lot of warm tones, and um, I just liked it, so I figured I would get it because it's a lot of the cool tones. Um, the only thing I would say about the brush is it's definitely, you can tell just by touching it, like I own Urban Decay brushes, it feels more cheap in consistency than the other ones, and obviously because it's a free gift in a palette, and they always tend to be a little more cheaper. I haven't actually used it though, but it feels more stiff and just more plasticky, I guess. Next, I ordered an Inglot, I ordered Inglot, Inglot eyeshadows. I ordered 10 of them and then got the 10 palette uh, case for it. So this is what it looks like. Opens up and looks like this. I'm going to put in the description bar the colors because there's no point in me sitting here going through all of them if you don't want to hear about it. So if you want to know the colors that I bought, it will be in the description bar. So yeah. Oh, that's what they look like. And I really, really, really like these. They're $5 each per square. And then the container, I think, was like $14. So it does add up. However, they're cheaper than MAC Shadows and they're bigger than MAC Shadows. Another thing I got is the Real Techniques Your Base Flawless Core Collection. And the reason why I bought this is because... I really wanted this brush, and they didn't sell it separately, which is the contour brush. I like that it's tinier, and I've kind of been looking for like a tinier brush like this to get in right here and set concealer. And on YouTube videos, I was looking at these, and this looks a lot bigger on video than it is in person. I'll show you the MAC 109 brush if you know what it looks like, and they're about the same size. So if you know what the size of the MAC 109 or the Sigma 109 looks like, this is the exact same size. So, it's smaller than what it looks. And this foundation brush, holy cow, it is so tiny. I would never use this to put foundation on it. It's like the size of my eye. It's, it's too tiny. Mm -mm. I haven't tried these yet. So, I'll let you know if I think they're good or not. When I got that, trust me, it was buy one, get one half off. And I wanted to get a heat tamer spray. And I've heard that this one's good. And then I was like, you know what? I don't own any hairspray. I should probably pick up hairspray. So, I got that too. I haven't used those yet. I'm waiting for something to come in the mail to use them. And I'll tell you about that later. And a couple videos back, you will notice that I was wearing the Sally Hansen nail polish that looked like this. So these are the stick ones. I bought this one. Um, and I was actually very, very impressed with these. I thought, there's no way that these could be good. But, you know, I was like, you know, I'm going to try it and find out. And they actually stayed very, very well. They're easy to put on. You put them on. You, you file off the edges and you're good to go. Um, so then since then, I bought two more shades. I bought this one, which is Check It Out and Bling It On. The Bling It On, I had a little, I haven't tried the this one yet. The Bling It On one. I don't know if it was just the application that I did or what, but they did not last as long. I don't know if it's because of the glittery ones. And a little trick for you guys, if you buy these, you should be able to use one packet per hand. So I already used one and I still have one. This is supposed to be for one application, that's it, and I make it so that I can do it with two applications, it's more for your money. So I still have a whole pack left, so I'm going to try and see if it's, maybe the glitter ones just don't stay as well, but they did not stay for me at all. And I think it was because I did have lotion on my hands before I did it. However, I used nail polish remover like it said on the nails to get all extra oils and stuff off of it. We'll see. But the regular one, the Animal Instinct one, is amazing. It stayed for a full week before one even chipped. I think you only one shift after a week and it... It was awesome. I was there too. I also picked up some toner for my hair in the shade 3, which is like dark, dark brown. Uh, so my hair 
it's the three shade three if you know from a scale of one to ten is the spectrum of hair color if you ever want me to explain that I'll be more than happy to explain that to you pretty much one is black 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 and ten is white um, and I am a three that's my natural hair color what it tends to happen is down here tends to get kind of orange and you can see it in a couple of my videos that my hair down here when it's straight you can tell is kind of orange in the videos so I was like you know what I need to tone my hair this is ridiculous I don't I don't like that um, so I got this the U Color Italian Demi Color. And I actually really like this because it gave you two. I already used it and I still have a whole other pack in here. So it was nice because also my hair is thick and stuff that sometimes one packet is one packet is not enough for me. I usually tend to make it work though. Like I probably should have really used two packets, but at the same time I'm really only toning my hair. I'm not trying to make my hair three because my hair already is a three. So I really like that. I like that it gives you two. So it's like it was $12. Hair colors were usually like eight, nine bucks. That was $12 and I got two applications out of it. I need more face wipes and I picked up Ulta Now, Shell, Ulta Now Cells Body Shop and I got the tea tree cleansing wipes. I just ran out of the pomegranate one so tonight I will be using these for the first time. I went to Sephora today because I had to return something which I should have showed it I guess before I returned it. It's the that perfect uh, primer. And it comes in different shades per skin color. And the long story short, the rep sold it to me. I tried it out, and I felt like it was breaking me out, so I returned it. And the thing's the damn thing, sixty dollars. Excuse my language. And I don't think it was worth sixty bucks, so I returned it. And for the return, I picked up two things. Um, first thing I got was the Nars Duo in Sin and Casino. I've, I wanted to get Casino because it's darker than Laguna, and I feel like Laguna's kind of like doesn't do much for me. And then I saw that there was a duo, and I've always wanted to try Sin. So this is what it looks like. Pretty. So I just bought that, so I'll let you know. I have tried, I think I have Sin on my cheeks actually right now. Yeah, because I put it on in the store just to double check, because it is so dark looking. I was worried that... Maybe it would be too dark for me, but I actually like it. I think it works. This duo would be great if you have medium to dark skin. Medium to tan skin. Dark skin, I guess, not so much because that bronzer would be too light for you. And then I decided to give it a try is the new Hourglass Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free. And the shade, the shade I got was Light Beige. So I just got it. So we'll see how... I will definitely be doing a review on this. Um, It's very heavy. Jeez. It's one ounce, but it must be like... Oh, yeah. It's like metal. Can you hear that? Yeah. So it's a pump. I think it was $55. It better be worth the money or I will be returning it. I'm one of those people. If it's not worth my money, I'm going to return it. So... That's kind of what I felt about the perfect thing. It was, I felt like it was breaking out, and I really didn't feel like it was that awesome for it to be $60. I will let you know. It definitely says it's for oily skin, so, so I would say if you don't have oily skin, don't try it. And I walked up to MAC tonight, too, afterwards, because MAC and Sephora are in my same mall. And I got some lip stuff. I got two lipsticks and a lip gloss. I got... Lip Glaze in Hue, which is a pretty, like, pinky nude color. Light, light. And then I got Viva Glam in 2. And I have Viva Glam 5 already. I'll show you the difference. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> oh. Crapola. Sorry. Shaken. So this is Viva Glam 2 and this is Viva Glam 5. The big difference is Viva Glam, Viva Glam 5 is shimmery. Viva Glam 2 is matte. Uh, Viva Glam 5 is more pink. Viva Glam 2 is more taupey. I also picked up a lip gloss in See Through. Very, very light, light color. It's like lighter than my skin tone. And I'm actually wearing this now with MAC Sheen Supreme and Bear Again, which I love this lipstick. It goes on like a tinted lip balm because it's really moisturizing, 
glittery look, like shiny looking, but it's a lipstick. So I probably could have added that onto my tinted lip balm thing, but this isn't a tinted lip balm, it's a lipstick. But it acts like a tinted lip balm in the in the feeling wise. So I have this on, and then I dab this on, mo focusing more in the center. One last thing. When I ordered that stuff at Sephora.com, I got the 500 points Flawless Favorites by Laura Mercier. It gives you <clears throat> mascara, eye primer, face polish, tinted moisturizer, and foundation primer. And then I got it and realized, oh wait a minute, Laura Mercier makes oil-free oil -free versions of all those, and these are all the originals. So all of these have oils in them and all of those are probably going to break me out. So then I was like, darn it, I shouldn't have wasted my 500 points on this. I think I'm still going to give it a try just to see if it does break me out and how it looks. But I'm definitely going to try the mascara and I'm definitely going to try the eyelid primer, no problem. It's just the... Pro the foundation primer and the tinted moisturizer kind of concerns me because they have lots of oils in them. I did do some research on them and a lot of the oils are okay for acne prone skin. Just like you know how I use argan oil and tea tree oil on my face and they don't break me out. So a lot of them they said that were actually good for your skin. But we'll give them a try and see what happens. I mean it was free. I can't really complain I guess. I feel like I just talked for about an hour of non-stop blabbing. I really need to stop buying stuff. I got something really big coming in the mail and I'm super excited about it. So once it gets here and stuff, I will do a video on it. Yeah. Alright guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.